Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this makeup look here. And for this makeup look I've used the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. Um, in my um, favourite palettes for fall uh, video I did talk about this palette as I do feel inspired to do something quite dark and smoky with it whenever I see it um, and I don't always pick it out because I don't think the cool tones really suit me um, and I felt like Morticia Adams today which is why I've got the black top on um, and I've sort of slicked my hair back um, I don't know if anybody's watched the Adams Family animated movie where at the start I think she's getting ready for her wedding or something and she dips into a mum and dad in their ashes and she puts them on her eyes. I just felt like these were the same tones. And so yeah, I felt like I was channeling those sort of vibes here. If you would like to see more of me, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram under the same handle as my YouTube, which is Chloe KH with two E's. But I will put that in the description box below for you, as well as all of the products that I've used on my face that I may not have mentioned in the video. I really hope that you enjoy watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Hey guys, all nice and zoomed in now. So I'm going to start off this very smoky look by taking my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette um, just here. And I'm going to start off by taking the darker shade in the palette here called Black Market. So I'm going to take that on my teeny little pencil brush here from Morphe and I'm going to sketch out the sort of um, shape. Okay, I don't like to go too heavy with black eyeshadow, so I'm just going to take my next brush here, which is my Royal and Langnickel brush, and I'm just going to gently blend the edges. So this isn't a matte black eyeshadow, it's got a bit of shimmer in it, um, so it kind of, it's not very pigmented, I'd say it's more like a grey black. I'm then going to take this shade here called Dagger. So this is just on the same brush and I'm just being very very careful with it as once these shades are blended they can look very similar. So I'm just going to blend all the way around. Just gently on top of that black. I'm then going to take my next brush here. This is a slightly thicker um, pencil brush. And I'm just blending that all the way around the outside of that dagger shade. In brush, I'm going to take this shade here called Password and very gently blend around that dagger shade. I'm not a huge fan of cool tones or sort of grey um, eyeshadows but I've had this palette for years and I haven't really touched it much um, and I just wanted to do a look with it. So I picked it out for my 
um, full makeup palettes as I did want to try and use it a bit more. Um, so here I am using it. Then going in with my P. Louise 143 brush just to blend around that password shade. In brush I'm going to take this shade here called Combust and I'm just working this around that shape. back in with those shades very very gently um, just to build it up a little bit more so Jake and I have just finished watching the um, first part of you. I can't remember if this is season 4 or season 5. Um, so many seasons of it now. I think that it's season 4. Um, but yeah, we finished watching the first 5 episodes and then the second 5 episodes are released in March. But other than that, we are quite... Well, we're struggling on what to watch. I mean, we've got um, The Last of Us that we're watching on Sky. But other than that, we've finished quite a lot of series. And I'm just kind of struggling what to watch, really. Um, a few people have suggested Happy Valley to me, but I've started watching season one, episode one, and I found the episode so boring. Um, a few people have just said, you know, stick with it it gets better um so we will see if i can persevere with that really gutted that there are some netflix series that have been cancelled um that i just love like ugh, i know it's a really oldie but santa clarita diet with drew barrymore i loved that um i watched emily in paris season three so quickly I just want season four and I mean they could have done it a bit better mm, but the wing saga I've heard that that has been cancelled so won't be returning for a season three um I didn't mind it I watched the first season and the second season um Jake started to watch like some episodes with me he found it a little bit cheesy but I don't know I watched the Wings cartoon when I was little and you know I just um I wanted to watch it because of that so I am a little bit gutted that that won't be returning but uh we are really enjoying The Last of Us um I do love Pedro Pascal the um the main like man actor in it. He plays the Mandalorian and I think that that is returning to Disney soon as well. I just need some more series to watch really. Okay I'm going to choose to leave that blend there. Now usually I would do a cut crease um, and then put any kind of sort of lid shadow over the top but I don't know, I was feeling a bit lazy, I didn't want to do a cut crease and I didn't want the lid to be very bright um, because I am using sort of greys in the crease. So I'm literally just going to put all over my lid this shade here called 13 which is the lighter shade in the palette.
Okay, I'm just going to take those shades and put them on my outer corner. Then I'm going to take my Made by Mitchell blush lights in Drip Drip, which is just this gorgeous um, silver here. I'm going to get a little fluffy brush here and just pop it all over my lid. I'm then going to take my little MAC uh, 266 brush here. This is probably one of my oldest brushes. I've had this for about 10 years, um, so it's really, really old and withered, but I just can't part with it because it was one of my first purchases from MAC. Um, and I'm just gonna go into that black market shade and just pop a line um, of shadow just all the way across my lash line. my waterline I'm going to take this roller bright eye pencil from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to blend those same shadows around keeping it tight to my lower lash line And then more of drip drip just around this inner corner. Okay, I'm going to put some lashes on, do the rest of my base, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Hey guys, this is the finished look here. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!